हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल माय रिसर्च सपोर्ट सो फ्रेंड्स आई नो दैट टुडेस टॉपिक इज लिटिल बिट कॉमन बट स्टिल मेनी रिसर्चर्स डोंट नो हाउ टू चेक देयर नंबर ऑफ साइटेशंस एच इंडेक्स आईटेन इंडेक्स और ऑथर मैट्रिक्स टू डिफरेंट प्लेटफॉर्म्स सो फ्रेंड्स व्हेन माय रिसर्च आर्टिकल इज रेफर्ड बाय एनी अदर रिसर्चर एंड ही हैज इंक्लूडेड और ही हैज मेंशन दैट रिसर्च आर्टिकल व्हाइल राइटिंग हिज रिसर्च पेपर एंड व्हेन हिज रिसर्च पेपर विल बी पब्लिश्ड देन आई कैन से माय रिसर्च आर्टिकल हैज रिसीव्ड वन साइटेशन लाइकवाइज व्हेन नंबर ऑफ साइटेशंस विल इंक्रीज डेफिनेटली आई कैन से I have published my research article in quality database or refereed journals. Means number of citations will indicate the quality of that particular published research article. And when any researcher is having a very high number of citations, then you can say that particular researcher had done a quality work in his area. And it is really a prestigious thing to have a very high number of citations. H index, I T index means excellent author matrix. and now we'll turn toward different platforms through which you can check your number of citations h index and i10 index so there are especially three platforms first is most commonly used by almost many researchers which is google scholar through google scholar you can check author matrix then the second platform you can check it through the scopus interface and the third is through web of science interface so first we'll discuss difference between these three platforms and then we'll turn toward actual demonstration on how to use or how to check author matrix so first we'll start with the scopus so the first thing if you have published your research article in scopus index journal then only you will be able to check number of citations received for those research articles means if you have published a research article but it is not there in the scopus then you won't be able to get any information about number of citations through this scopus platform so first thing only research article published in scopus index journal for those you can get number of citations through this scopus platform and second scopus will only give number of citations received through research articles published in scopus index journals only means those research articles we have mentioned your research article while writing their research papers and those research papers if they have published in the scopus index journals then only the scopus will indicate the number of citations to your research articles okay means if those research articles are mentioned your published research work but those research articles are not published in scopus index journals then definitely scopus will not indicate those number of citations and this is again true for the second platform which is web of science in web of science also if you have published your research article in web of science index journal then only you will get information about number of citations h index etc but when we talk about the third platform which is google scholar then definitely number of citations received or number of citations which are indicated in the google scholar platform are obviously more than that of scopus and web of science because google scholar has indexed many journals as compared to scopus and web of science for example if scopus has indexed around 10000 journal web of science has indexed around 8000 journal then google scholar might have indexed about more than 20000 journals so google scholar will indicate the overall number of citations received through all these journals few journals those are there in the scopus that data can also be fetched because almost all the scopus index journals you will find for those journals google scholar indexing is there for web of science index journal google scholar indexing is there and there are many other journals where you will find those journals are indexed in google scholar so always whatever number of citations indicated on the google platform is more as compared to scopus and web of science but if you are talking about the quality then yes you should increase your number of citations which have been indicated through google platform and web of science index platform because this count of number of citations through scopus and web of science platform depicts better quality of your research article as compared to google scholar now let's go ahead first we'll start with the scopus then web of science and then we'll see how to check number of citations through google scholar platform for scopus first you have to go to the scopus preview website okay on this website you will get one link here on the upper part author search you have to click on this option okay here you can just type your you will be getting all these options like affiliations orchid id with you can search with orchid id as well so i am putting the first name the last name then you have to provide first name and you have to click on 
search tab okay now you will be able to access your documents with h index number of citations you can see here this is the author my three documents are there in the scopus index journals h index is 3 and my affiliation city etc so you have to click on this author name and you will get detailed author matrix inside this is a document and citation trends here you can see 75 citations means total 70 5 researchers mentioned my research articles while writing their documents and my H index is 3 means all my 3 documents have received minimum 3 or more than 3 citations ok at least 3 citations and hence my H index is 3 then you can edit your profile sometimes there is a possibility that you have published 10 research articles in the scopus index journal but still here it is showing 5 or 6 in that case you have to add this research articles manually sometimes the data cannot be fetched so you can just click on edit profile so for that you have to sign in and what are the options you can set you can change your name merge profiles you can add or remove documents sometimes the document those are not yours can be added so you have to remove them so you can just click on sign in you can just provide your basic credentials and you will be able to access this option now we'll move towards the second platform and which is web of science so in order to check the web of science a number of citations through web of science you have to move towards this site Pablons. So Pablons is basically web of science researchers ID. Pablons belongs to web of science itself. So you have to click here and you will be redirected to the home page. See here you have to first register. You have to click on the register. You have to provide some basic credentials. Your email ID, name, password as well. Here you can see you have to provide all these options and then you have to click on this register once you are registered then you will be able to log in so here you have to provide your email address and password you have to provide your email address and password and you have to click on sign in okay then you will get this page you can click on track my citations where your number of citations published research articles will be automatically fetched the simple option is to go to your profile you can see here in the upper right corner you can click on view profile here you can see the number of publications or number of papers you have published in this web of science index journals you will get the list here at the last and you can click here on this matrix part to the left side once you click here then you will get a complete idea about the number of citations here wise number of citations you can see number of publications are 3 then number of citations are 66 as we have discussed or we have seen here the number of citations was 75 and here number of citations are 66 in this way you can move towards this publication section you can see you can add and remove your publications in this way through web of science you can check your number of citations or author metrics now we will move towards the third part which is google scholar this is the most common platform used almost by all the researcher you have to just search for google scholar you have to click on the very first link okay here you have to log in with your google account here you can see to the upper right corner i have logged in with my google account and then upper left corner you will see this option my profile you have to click here on the my profile once you click you have to provide your name affiliation email areas of interest home page when you put all these details then your research articles will be fetched automatically so now my official 
account email id is different so i'm just switching i don't want this email id because i have made account already on another email id okay now i have switched to this email id and you can see as i have already mentioned all these details like affiliations and all all my data has been fetched my publications and all and here to this right corner you will be able to see a graph which is indicating number of citations now you can see here the number of citations received through this or mentioned in this google scholar platform is 130 however we have seen, seen on scoopers it was less number was less okay h index is also 10 sorry 4 means four of my research articles have received number of citations four or more than that similarly i10 index means my two research articles has received 10 citations or more than that see this research article and this research article okay so in this way you can check number of citations through this google scholar platform you will be having multiple options you can click here edit you can edit your name affiliations and all so sometimes you can you need to add this publications manually here you will find one option you can add you can click here so you'll be getting these options add articles groups add articles add article manually if you click here on add article manually then you have to provide all the details like title authors and all so it is better that you can click here and you have to just click on add articles and you can see see all the articles of this name would be automatically fetched so you have to ensure whether this research articles belongs to you or not if yes then you have to click on that article and you can click here to add that article in your list of publications okay and sometimes this automatically fetched articles will not be yours so if i found this article is not mine i can click here and i can just click here on the delete so that this research article will be deleted in this way you will be able to get an idea about your published research article number of citations of your published research articles so friends thank you very much for watching this video i hope you like this information please do not forget to subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon to get latest updates about new videos on research writings publications journal selections plagiarisms ethics in publications and all so i'll see you in my next video bye bye